So apologies for being away for so long. Hope everyone out there is doing well and staying healthy. Uh, I think we can all agree this is a crazy, weird, unprecedented time. We're all dealing with it uh, and processing it in our own ways. I've actually been ridiculously busy and He Spoke Style has been like the furthest thing from my mind right now. So a lot of you out there might know about my other job, my other career besides this. Uh, this is not the only thing that I do, but I'm sure a lot of you have absolutely no idea. So. For the last 17 years, I have been in the United States Army Field Band. The Field Band has an amazing mission of connecting Americans to the Army through music. We play concerts and we do outreach in communities all across the country. I play saxophone in the band. I'm the announcer for the group. For the past 10 years or so, I've been one of the primary spokespeople for the organization. Uh, and most recently, I've been working in public affairs and media relations. So the band, we were on uh, a week into our spring tour. Obviously, we canceled the rest of the tour and very quickly pivoted to start producing a daily live broadcast on the band's YouTube channel and Facebook page. So that started on March 20th. I've been doing a fair amount of hosting on those broadcasts. So if you want to see me uh, with a much different look than you're used to, uh, definitely check those out. But I've also been dealing uh, with the media a lot. So we have been fortunate to have actually some uh, national coverage for what we're doing. We were on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, Fox News. Uh, there was an AP story that hit the wire uh, a week or so ago and went out all over the place. Uh, and that story actually featured Rob, uh, who is also in the Army field man. He's a sergeant major and the leader of our soldiers chorus. So a lot of good things happening there and stuff I'm really proud of, but it's kind of left me completely drained on a daily basis. So the time and the bandwidth I have to devote to He Spoke Style is more or less non-existent right now. And in those times that I have had a chance to think about it, uh, to be perfectly honest, I've struggled with exactly how to manage He Spoke Style during this time. Beyond the fact that Rob can't come over and shoot the videos, and big thanks to Robin uh, today for being behind the camera and running the prompter for me, uh, I mean, the big picture question that I've been dealing with is, do we keep it business as usual? Do we pivot and make content that is sort of driven by and frozen in this moment in time? Uh, and like, who even cares about style right now? Why does any of this matter? Uh, if I'm being real here and super personal, uh, honestly, my interest is waning. Like everyone, I'm still spending time on Instagram and I'm looking through all these photos and people and live conversations that have seemingly no purpose other than basically eavesdropping on a FaceTime call between two friends. I just, I'm not, I'm not that interested. Uh, I am a more introverted person, and I understand that maybe for some people, like all that stuff can be therapeutic. Uh, for me though, I care more about calling my parents, spending time with Robin, walking the dog, petting the cat. Like, that's what matters to me right now. Uh, clothes, I could really care less about. But the flip side of that is that I do feel a sense of responsibility to continue to provide something of value for you guys out there. I appreciate all your support here on Instagram, on the website, uh, and more than anything here on YouTube, I really feel that sense of community. We're all alone, but we're alone together. So that is why about a week ago, two weeks ago, uh, at this point, it's been too long, uh, I put out a call on Instagram for you guys to DM me your real work from home outfits. Now, I know you're watching this channel because you appreciate classic men's style, but I'm wearing this right now. Uh, I have sweatpants on. Shh. Uh, and I know a lot of you, even the most well-dressed among you, are doing the same. So having you guys submit these photos was a way to kind of come together in solidarity and show what real life is like right now. So I'm gonna share just a few of the photos with you right now uh, and appreciate all these guys for sending these in and keeping it real. <clears throat> all right, so first look here. Uh, plaid shirt, uh, looks really nice. Uh, jeans, I have to say for me, uh, it's been about three weeks since all this has been going on and, and I have not worn jeans at all. I just, I just can't do it at home. I'm always in sweatpants or my pajama bottoms, but good on you for doing the jeans. Now this is a look that is totally me right now. Uh, pajama bottoms, t-shirt, uh, and sweater. So <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate your courage for sending that in. And I'll tell you that is exactly what I've been wearing pretty much every day as well. Another plaid shirt. I think we're seeing a, a trend here of plaid shirts and work from home outfits. Plaid shirt, joggers, and some slippers for good measure. Like it. Next, a uh, good friend of the channel here. Looking good as always. Uh, I really like his uh, moccasins there. 
I, don't, I can't tell if they're just for the house or whether they're for outside as well, but those look really nice. And I have to point out the, the desk setup in the back. I like that chair. Uh, that's a really cool little home office, so well done. So this is an outtake photo, and I wanted to include it because it's cute. Um, and then here's the real photo. Um, so again, this is, this is totally me. Uh, pajama bottoms, I can't tell. Maybe these are linen pants. You'll have to let me know if you're watching in the comments. Like the robe, t-shirt. Espadrilles is a nice touch. And then super cute dog. Thanks for sending that. Here's another uh, great fan of the channel. Uh, and follow her on Instagram. This is looking good, but I think maybe a little too good for a work from home outfit, but I, I, I couldn't wear jeans and boots in the house, but uh, it's looking really good in the classic outfit here with a denim shirt and the, the uh, blue blazer. So well done. Yeah, again, plaid. I like the plaid. Plaid's going on here with the robe. I should start wearing my robe uh, a little more uh, in the house. What do you think, Robin? Yeah, no? She says no. Anyway. Don't hate. <laughs> Keeping it a little classy here with the denim shirt underneath as well. Um, this is a super cool photo. Um, maybe you're, he's a photographer. Uh, it's a great photo, black and white photo. I assume this is a monochromatic look. Um, super nice and awesome pose. <laughs> I might have to steal that. You used to do it all the time. <laughs> and then, okay, another jeans. Again, I can't, I can't do the jeans, but, but this looks good here. Um, and uh, the turtleneck also nice. But keeping it real, I'm going to call it out with the Birkenstocks. I love this photo. You'll have to let me know where you got this smoking jacket. I love the velvet smoking jacket. Um, and I love, I love the look <laughs> as well. It's like it's trying to say something to me. I don't know exactly what it is, but I like it. Very cool. Very, very nicely put together, casual look. This this could be a work from home look from work from home look or uh, a look for any other time. Um, and I'm trying to tell if these are Bowden and Lang shoes. Let me know if you're watching this. Um, but dig the the red socks. And this is the last one I have for you guys here. Another jeans jeans look. Um, I won't be doing jeans. Uh, until I really have to go outside the house, but uh, uh, like the long sleeve polo as well. Really well done. So thanks to, to um, you guys for sending those in. So final word here is going to be my typical work from home outfit. So sweatpants, sweatshirt. Sometimes I'll even wear a pajama top, uh, socks, and my wool Belgian shoes. It's all about comfort for me right now, and I'm not apologizing. <laughs> So I had to get back on here and do something while all this is going on, uh, get back in the rhythm. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, like right around when everything started to get pretty serious, I asked whether you wanted to see more of the same or something different. So now, a few weeks in, I'm going to put a poll right up there in the corner with the same question because I'm curious to see uh, if those opinions had shifted at all. Uh, as always, I appeal to you for ideas about what you'd like to see, so leave any and all suggestions for content down in the comments. I could really use the help right now. Uh, so just wanted to check in, see how everyone was doing, let you know what was going on with me, uh, and I look forward to hopefully getting back to some kind of normalcy and rhythm and back on track here in the very near future. So thanks for sticking with me, thanks for watching, and we'll all try together to stay tailored. One, two, one. Two, here we go. Sink it up. Gonna make it like Family Guy. Doing it Brian. to. <laughs>